What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we are actually going to fire the RN50 again. I have some fresh slap rounds. I'm very excited to try this thing out again. Here we go. Cut. Stunt double. Hey, here you go. You sure this is safe? Yeah, it's perfectly safe. You're going to be okay. Didn't you have a major malfunction with this? Now. So, just pull the hammer back and shoot? Yep, it, that's all you do. All right. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today I have a very special guest the one and only Houston Jones. Thanks for having me. Hey man, it's good to have you out again. So today, I want to see just how tough you are. Here recently, we had Eddie Hall, the world's strongest man out, and he used his massive muscles to try and overpower some massive recoil. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now what I wanna know is, could the world's toughest man handle that recoil? Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what's about to happen. Let the world know that you got Big Boar Energy. These are only available on Black Friday, and those who pick up a Big Boar Energy shirt will also be randomly selected to get an autographed Kentucky Ballistics flag. You know what rhymes with flag? Bag. Be sure and pick up your Kentucky Ballistics range bag, only available on Black Friday. You get this handy dandy bag, a patch, a hat, stickers, and a flag that could be randomly autographed. Also on Black Friday, we have $1 stickers and 15% off knit sweaters. Kentucky Ballistics, Clear Ballistics, T-Rex targets. These things are going to be 20% off and free shipping. That's Thanksgiving through the 28th. And the first 100 customers get an autographed sticker, and the next 100 customers get an autographed box. Wait, no And if you accidentally sleep all through Black Friday because you had too much turkey, don't worry because they're still Cyber Monday. And that'll be 20% off shirts, 30% off hats, and 25% off all sweatshirts. Be sure and take advantage of all these Black Friday deals. Pick up some awesome Christmas gifts and save some money while you're at it. Links to all this can be found in the description down below. Now, let's go get to it. So, is this in case I fall down? No, it's uh, in case you drop my guns. Oh. Okay. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do first is we are gonna shoot a 416 Rigby, which is the lesser of all evils. They're okay. big guns, but the 416 Rigby is the smaller of the big, big guns. guns. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's still really big, but it's not a four bore yet. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start you with that, and then I have about five or six guns there. I'm gonna have you shoot, and we're just gonna go from, like I said, the smaller to the absolute largest and see how you hold up. You sure you're ready? I mean, look at me. You're as ready as you're ever gonna be. I'm and you so wore the ready. right shirt. Yep. Uh, and I got them ready. <laughs> I hope I don't need a thumb or anything though. All right, the first gun we have is a CZ 550 416 Rigby and we have a 400 grain brass solid. So this is the smallest of the big guns, because that seems really big. Yeah, this, like I said, it's it's still a really big gun. Um, it's just smaller than its brothers. Okay, it's only getting bigger from here. Yeah. All righty. So safety's on. So before you fire, Safety you'll on. flick that off. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I have a 15 inch neck scar that tells a story. Yeah, but... you know what? Good point. I'm not gonna say that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Houston, we are good to go. Alrighty. Wow! 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 How did that feel? I'm gonna be honest, that was uh, a little bit more than I was expecting. Really? 
It it moved from where I was standing. Your shoulder definitely jiggled a little bit. Well, I got very mobile joints. Yeah, you know, I do yeah. a lot of mobility. Right. Uh, so it just that was really... so that was like that was good. That was a yeah, good thing. Yeah, exactly. Just going through my range of motion. Oh, you okay. Know? <laughs> it definitely won't hurt when I bench when I get back home. Hopefully, you can still bench when you get back because um, we have bigger guns. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm this gonna... is the small big gun. I'm gonna go get it. Our next firearm is a double barrel 500 Nitro Express, and this one has a lot of beautiful engravings on it. Houston, have you ever seen such pretty engravings on a gun? No, but it is gorgeous. You have a Bulbasaur, and then on the bottom, you have Chartizard, Blastoids, and on the very top is a Pikachu. Pikachu. Aren't you supposed to catch them all, not hunt them all? Mm, I've never heard that before. Uh, we have a 500 Nitro here. This is a 570 grain round. It is um, a little bigger than what you just shot. Okay. Those mobility exercises are really going to come in handy this time. Thank God. Yeah. I was going to have you pull both triggers, but... You're being nice to me. You don't want to do that. One. Two. Let's go. All right, Houston, we are ready. Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> My finger took collateral damage. Oh, she gets boy. smacked here in the trigger guard. The uh, behind it, I had a. Uh... My finger behind it here, uh -huh. and the all half of oh, that force the came right into my finger. Trigger guard got your fingers. Yeah, it does that to me sometimes too. Pull this lever, push it that way. This way. Uh huh. And then you open the gun; it'll pop the shell out. Just, just up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I almost ate it. Okay, so that was 500 nitro. This is 600 nitro. So, so the, the higher one, the number, the bigger. Yes. So 500 nitro is 50 cal. This is 60 cal. Ah, and yeah. that's a 900 grain round, and this is my double barrel 600 Nitro Express. This is a very large double rifle. Um, back in the day, at one point, this was the largest safari rifle you could hunt with. Makes so sense. this gun does have some good weight to it, though. So it's going to kick you hard, but I think it's going to be a little more of a push than a snap. Okay. Like the last two were a little snappy. Mm -hmm. This is going to be more of a hard shove. I can handle a hard shove. Okay, we are ready, Houston. Try not to scream one of these times. I <laughs> dude, how was that? Was that, that worse? Definitely worse. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, uh, I felt like that was worse. The push I liked less. Oh really? Yeah, I almost like the snappiness to it. I feel like it just shoved me back more. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, and once again, uh, you got your my finger. finger. Yeah. Oh yeah. See his finger here. It's it's starting to get shaky. red um, and shaky. Yeah, according to my calculations right there, that did feel like it was about a hundred more grain worth of power. It's like, just this is how it felt, you know, when it came back at me. I, I'm kind of precise with that kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, Houston, I thought I would give you a slight break and we could do a rematch in our table tossing contest, because it is tradition. And you know what they say, third time is the charm. This is where I win. Right, this this is your third time. Yeah. Yes, and I, I, I've i been training. I've been looking up technique. Well, just so you know, I mean, I beat the world's strongest man um, in the table toss here recently, so no big deal. I'll let you go first. It's your funeral. I've watched your technique. <laughs> I'm in big trouble now. He throws it flat down because it slides. Mm. 
He really has been watching video. No! 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 He choked! No! He choked under the pressure. <laughs> A strong breeze rolled by right when I threw. Three times. It's going to take really something for me to really mess this up. Let's see here. Yeah, no! <laughs> it did the same thing! Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to call it a tie. I think it's about the same. Regardless, that's my best showing yet, okay? What happened? What happened just then? We're getting old, Scott. You don't say that. Wait, you don't say old. that! It's not bad. Okay, Houston, so scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, rate what you've shot thus far. In pain. Yeah. First gun, give like a three. Okay. Second one was kind of similar, a little bit worse. I'm giving a three and a half. All right. The last one. 600 nitro. Maybe about a five. A five. So it's like, when I, on my scale, that would be like uncomfortable. Right. Okay. Not true pain yet. But uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. So we're going to have to try and beat a five. I do have a 700 nitro, mm. but it is currently at the shop. So instead... This guy here is gonna step in. This is one of only 24 ever made. This is a A-square 577 Tyrannosaur. And it fires this big chunky boy. That is a 750 grain bullet. Okay, Houston, are you ready to ride the lightning? I suppose. All right. popped out of your hand a little bit. Yeah, I would just, say so. Just a tad. My ears are ringing a bit too now. So, this, I didn't tell you this before, but this is one of the hardest recoiling rifles in the world oh. that you could ever fire. Most people would never even see a gun like this, much less shoot it. So, scale of one to 10. Six. You get, <laughs> so we're getting into pain yeah. now. My chest feels sore. I feel like I did like one side chest press. Really, so you're feeling it like in your pet. Yeah. I don't know if it's just where I'm putting it, but also each gun you bring out, the more intimidated I get. And they just keep <laughs> getting larger. Yeah, these keep getting bigger and bigger. Now we still got two more to go. Okay, Houston, so this one here, um, nobody has shot before on the channel. I just recently brought this one out. Uh, you've heard of a 50 BMG, right? Yeah, of course. Well, this is a 700 BMG. Uh. Shoots this. Oh my god. So, uh, this is my 700 BMG bolt action rifle, and it shoots this giant round. It's 700 BMG, aka 700 rimless. This is a 70 caliber, 1000 grain bullet. So, the last thing you shot, that was 750 grains. This is a thousand. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's not that much more, right? Yeah, just like 25%. Just a little bit more. Except for once again, the bigger gun doesn't make me feel better. Right, you feel it. worse about yes. it. Yes. Put that right there. If you want to send that bolt home, there you go. Now your safety's on. This, uh, this, you, this should be a noticeable difference. Okay. I'm really excited. As am I. We are ready to go. Already. Do we have a problem? Are you okay? How was that? I rather enjoyed it. Yeah. Hey, I have to say, he's handling the recoil really well. You you are handling it well. And um, to continue shooting these things, most people they shoot at one time and you know they're done. Mm -hmm. I'm putting you kind of through the gauntlet. Yeah. And uh, once again, uh, my chest is even more sore now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. So where are you feeling it? Like right here, We're all through right here. Right here, front delt. Yeah. And like the side of my chest here. How's your face? Are you feeling it in your cheek? Not any? too much. Not no? too much. No. It's a little red right there. 
So you gave the 577 T-Rex, he gave it a six. So what do you give the 700 BMG? I thought it'd be a bigger jump. I'd give it six and a half. Six and a half. Uh -huh. We're gonna see if we can get to at least a seven today. Oh, that would be impressive. I mean, what, what could you possibly have that would get to a seven? That just sounds silly. What could I possibly have? I don't know. Can't be that big, right? Oh, that's what I got. Ah! So the last one was a thousand grains, and that was a 700. This is a four bore. Uh -huh. This is the world's largest shoulder fired rifle. That is 2,150 grains, and it's an inch in diameter. Wait, wait what's it gonna be? Uh, there should be a gun in between here. There should be, but I don't know. They just skipped a step, I guess. So this is the four bore, and this is gonna be kicking you with about 200 pounds of felt recoil. Oh. This is a. But I'm like. 200, I'm 205. You're 205? Yeah. So we'll see you're five pounds heavier, you'll be fine. You're right. So Christian Firearms, four bore, single shot, falling block rifle. It weighs about 20-ish pounds. It's it's kind of heavy. If you want to hold on to that. What do you think about that? Heavy. You can do like curls with it, get a pump. Oh, yeah. It kind of plays against you, though, when you have to hold it for a long time for the thumbnail. Yeah, tire out a bit. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, this is four bore. That is one inch in diameter, 2,150 grains. And Houston, he's about to ride the lightning for real. We're gonna see how the world's toughest man holds up to the almighty four bore. Okay, it's your handheld artillery here. Okay, now you can raise that back up. All the way till it clicks. Got it. And you're ready to rock and roll. I almost feel like I want some chalk. Right. You know? Your hands a little sweaty? Yeah. You're just excited. I'm just getting slippery over here. Moist. But we're ready. Ready when you are. Oh, God. You okay? Yep. <laughs> Come off of your shoulder. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel like I Let me take it from you real quick. dislocated and relocated my whole shoulder. Dude, I was behind you. I saw it pop up like your whole upper torso was just like, dude, <laughs> like it lifted you off the ground. So yeah. you were at, you were at a 6.5. I'll give it a seven. A seven. I'll we did it. Seven. We did it. We inflicted pain yeah. on the I, world's toughest man. Yeah, I think, you know, if you're like a a buck fifty. Yeah. You know, you're, oh, you're getting blown over. You, I do really feel like you need to have a little bit of weight when you shoot something uh -huh. this big. It it really does help. Yeah. Um, even Eddie, he weighed three hundred and seventy five pounds when he shot it. Uh -huh. I, it was rocking him too. You're shooting literally like shoulder fired yeah. artillery. Like, <laughs> yeah. <it's> a... <laughs> you're not going to be able to shoot it and just be like, ah, yeah, it's nothing. no big yeah. deal. <laughs> <laughs> that was well, fun. Would you do it again? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go get another round. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally joking. I only brought one. <laughs> okay, Houston. I underestimated you. We didn't need the mattress. You did really good. Thank you. You held on to a good. Your glasses stayed on. I had John Lovell shoot the 600 Nitro one time, and his glasses almost came Popped off. off. Yeah. Uh, I would argue that you handled it just as good, if not better. And the world's strongest man, but maybe that's another video one day. Maybe we'll have you guys, you know, butt heads one day. World's strongest versus the world's toughest. I think it's a solid video. If you would like to see that video, let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're hitting the subscribe button, go ahead and swing over to Houston Jones' channel. I will link it in the description down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Scott. Hit me with Houston, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I almost forgot. Do the honors. <laughs> you don't even gotta try. <laughs>